Yeah. Oh, really? Oh my God, I'm so tired. Yeah, it's 4.30 in the morning, but uh, got to get out to this other guy's shop, load everything up at my shop, and be at his shop by 7 o'clock at the latest, which is about 20 miles from my shop. But uh, I got to gotta say, at least you can keep in mind I'm making $1,500 today and that's going to come in handy, so that's why I'm up at 4.30 in the morning. Go over your checklist, make sure you got all your materials. You never know if when you're out there, if you drop an airbrush or something happens, so I always take extras. And, uh, and air hoses, you never know what nipples they use for their uh, connectors, so maybe your spray guns, your airbrushes won't fit into there, so I got all these um, set up with different uh, types of nipples that will go to anybody's um, shop. So I was I mean, a little behind, should have been out of here by six, but there won't be any traffic. So and you were thinking, stay. okay, it's only 20 miles. Why is he leaving in an hour or need an hour driving time? Because it is always so foggy out this way. You can see about two, three lines ahead of you at the most. And you gotta take your time. So far it's 22 miles, we're almost there. Well, we made it here. As you can see, this thing's huge, and it's in a very dim lit building. So we're going to kind of fight that for the lighting a little bit. And it is cold. It's about 45, 50 degrees here right now. But we're going to do probably a mural here on this um, front piece, the side, and the back. We're going to do American flags and eagles. So let's get right into this. Well, Scott's brought in everything, and now I'm just wiping it down with wax and grease remover. And we're going to paint an American flag across here. And United We Stand will be in a sticker up on the top here, but uh, let's get this all wiped down. See behind me, I took an actual American flag and I taped it up onto the back of the log loader. From this point, I went around with my tape and taped it all the way around. I've taken several photographs of it, so when I pull this down, I know exactly where everything's at. i got markings on each side here. Um, exactly where the red and white stripes go. And then what I'll do is I'll pull all this off, put mask paper around it, spray it white, and then from that point let it dry, go to the other side, start masking it up, and come back here and start taping in all my red lines and actually my blue with the white stars. Where we're at right now is I've already sprayed the white, then I took transfer paper, and that's what this is here. You can buy all this at Coast Airbrush. Um, I've laid it all out. And then I took my pitcher and I drew the whole flag out with pencil. Now I've taken a razor knife and I've cut out every single stripe, the black and the white. Same with all the stars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray blue down right now and then we're going to start doing airbrushing. Hmm, let's see. What did I say about my checklist? You're 20 miles away. Got all my airbrushes. I even showed you all my airbrushes. Got one air hose. All the rest of them are on the bottom part of my cart that I left back at the shop. <laughs> They're filled, so I'm going to airbrush everything with one airbrush today. Now we have black and airbrush and I'm going to do a drop shadow under it to give it a 3D look. I'll come in tight right here because this will be the lowest point and then as it goes out and it rolls up here, this makes it look like it's further off the surface. Same here. next day um, the heaters went out last night so I had to stop but uh, got the heaters working again there's not a lot of room as you can see right here the lighting's horrible 
So I'll set the cameras up when I get it going, but we're going to put an eagle up here on this side. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to freehand a mountain scene, and I'll show you that, and then I'll put like a, a limb coming up here that i got an eagle going to land on. But that's what we're going to do on this side, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to do it. a mountain right here. I'll do some clouds in the background. We'll start with some blues and whites to begin with, and I'll do the mountain. I'm not going to detail too much because I want the eagle to be the focus of everything. What I'm doing right in here is I'm going to set this up where I can put a sun coming up from the clouds right here. What I've done is taken the blue and the white mixture, poured them together and made this other softer blue. We have the uh, darker sky blue up here and then a softer blue. And then I'll go back in with yellows and oranges right here. And the reason I put this back down is if I spray um, yellow and orange over top of blue itself, it'll turn green. So I kind of frost that out with a, a mixture of blue and white. And I'll go back in with a bright white right there, then the yellow and orange. And then I'll accent all the clouds with white. We are at a mill, so you can hear other people out here working. There's a guy fresh washing outside, so it's going to be noisy. But you do what you do. So I got white going, so let's get going on that. Now let's grab the picture of the eagle we're going to use. Have him like this with a tree limb down underneath. So I want to make sure that uh, his back and everything goes up into the white so it really stands out. Because you want the, the wings to really stand out and really punch with the color. So if it's in the blue, it'll still stand out, but not as much as when it's cut real crisp up against that white. And then we'll do a tree limb across the mountains too. You guys can have a uh, picture of a mountain that you can use as a um, guide to see exactly where you want everything. Me personally, I just go off of the inspiration that I've seen in the in the mountains from like when I'm hunting and stuff. What I've seen and, and what I can vision in my head is what I All right, now I've taken the gray and the black and mixed it together. Now I'm gonna put my fingers over the end of the nozzle and pull the trigger and it'll mix it inside the cup. Make sure that you keep it away from your face and your artwork because if you don't do this correct, it will go on your face and it will go on your artwork. How do I know? Hmm. It's happened. <laughs> there we go. So now we use the darker. And we'll go off of the gray that we've already got and we'll create the darkness, which will be the shadow side. And then we're going to go back in with the white and accent everything. Taking a piece of green tape and put it down through the center, making this a straight line so I can balance out what I need to do. Sorry about the lighting, how all the shadows are, but this is what I'm working in. Um, I'm going to draw a snag here, and I'm going to make the snag about this wide, and I'm going to draw a limb that goes across right here. So it kind of balances out, makes those um, mountains look like they're way back in there, and the eagle and the trees are in the foreground. But I'll draw probably a couple more little snags out in here so they look like, like they're way back in there. I'm using a prism pencil. Prism, <laughs> prism pencil, which is white, and it draws a line on here where I can see to go in with my airbrush, and then from that point I can either wipe it off with water, which will take away the prism uh, pencil marks, or I can airbrush right back over top of them. It works. Got everything drawn out now. I'm going to go ahead and use um, kind of a grayish black mixture and outline everything that I've already drawn out with the uh, prism pencil. Warming my hands up. It's so freaking cold in here. And I'm sitting in front of a flamethrower, but I got my lunch and got my pot. So I'm all good. Got everything outlined. You can hear the train going by, the heaters, people outside working. But again, I'm at somebody else's shop, so this is the environment I'm in. You make it work, you get paid good money. Actually, going to be doing three murals instead of two. So instead of $1,500, it's $1,800. Good payday on this one. Uh, it's actually taken me, this is the second day, 
yesterday I couldn't finish everything. I actually stepped off the ladder and, and stepped wrong and kind of hurt my back. And it was colder than shit like it is today, but I got the heaters working again, so let's get back at it.